Hey, Spending Some Sharks. It's Vegas here. Hope you're doing well. I am actually out here with my boy, Vegas Visual. Vegas. Who's Vegas Visual? Never heard of him. <laughs> so, and then we got Pat 75 coming through, too. And there is a new Chinese restaurant here at the Aria Hotel and Casino, or if you're Pennies for Vegas, the Area Hotel and Casino. Shout out to Pennies for Vegas. We're going to go ahead and check it out, see if it's any good, and hopefully get some food because we're out drinking and we need a little something to go with it. Let's get started. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Before we get started, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to our Patreon members for helping the channel grow. More on that later. All right, Spinners and Sharks, this seems to be the place over here. So this is actually the first time I've heard of this restaurant over here. This was recommended. It's Din Tai Fung, right over here. Seems to be a new Chinese restaurant, at least. So we're going to go ahead and pop in and check it out. I think the lineup starts over here. So we're going to go ahead and pop in at Din Tai Fung, Las Vegas. Let's go. How's it going? You guys have uh, space for three? Oh, shoot just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Toronto. You guys just want to go to Posh Burger? All right. All right, Spinach and Sharks, so uh, the new Chinese restaurant didn't work out so well. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a Posh Burger review apparently now. So that's actually going to be on the other side of the casino. I'm pointing off camera, but it's this away. Um, you can tell where we are because the lift bar is right over there. So from the lift bar, you're actually going to go past the MLife desk and it's gonna be right next to the poker room. So we're gonna speed this up and get our way over there. And it's going to be right past the gem bar, and then Posh Burger is on the back wall. <laughs> Poker room real fast, but here's where it is, the Posh Burger. Oh man, they can't, they can't, that would be our luck. We'd be two for two. We'd have to go up to Gene George or something like that. There we go. All right, let's bring some Here we are. We are at the Posh Burger now. So we can pop on in, we can make our orders, and hopefully get something edible and delicious. Yeah, the Super Deluxe Wagyu Steak Burger. Who's that, Steve? Yeah, I think I might do that. That looks really good. I have to do a close-up of the... Uh, of the food there. In fact, you know what, guys? We're going to cut straight to the menu so we can see it. Hang on. So Vegas Fisher, what you end up getting? I got the double burger. The double burger. Without the onions. No onions for me. No onions on that one. Alright, Pat, what you end up getting, man? Pastrami burger. Pastrami burger. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, so I, the Ace of Vegas, I decided on the Wagyu burger. So whatever that whatever's on that one. The, the Wagyu, Wagyu, whatever it is. Wagyu. Wagyu. It's Japanese. That's the point. It's Japanese. So we're going to have a bite of that, see how that is, and then, uh, yeah, we'll let you know what it tasted like. All right, so Pat got his first. He got the pastrami burger over here. Oh, that looks gorgeous. That actually does look pretty good. They need the melted cheese just a touch more. Yeah, the key thing with this one, though, I wanted to get something with Swiss cheese, and I just, I love pastrami. Mm. I love it. 
Nice, right, so you gotta have a bite of that. Let us know how that is, man. Yes. Alright. Big bite coming in. There it is. The patty's a bit on the thin side. Mm. Um, I think that's why mine came up so fast. Mm. The patty's on the thinner side. That's why they didn't ask me for an option, probably. Oh, so it's coming well done, period, if you yeah. get the pastrami burger. But I love pastrami. Oh, there's an onion ring there, too. Oh, okay. They put a little onion ring in there. Give it a little yeah, flavor. This might be a burger. Nice. Onion ring, onion ring oh. in there. Okay, bet. We get one more bite on that, then we'll probably have a good idea how, how it tastes. Getting some approving nods over here, that's good. The patty's on the thin side. Right. But the thing is, pastrami meat is traditionally way more expensive than burger meat. Right. It's, it's, it's spicy stuff, so. Yeah, I don't think it's a decent deal, but great new bucks. Nice, alright. So, out of five, what would, you, what would you say you rate it? 3.5, but I'm tough. All right, three point five. Yeah, we'll call that. A, we'll call it a three out of five. That's what we'll call it. Because I don't. I don't do it by half, so it's a three out of five. <laughs> That's what's happening. <laughs> Vegas Visual got a burger too. Vegas Visual, what you get? You got the double, right? I, I think it's a double double, right? Double two, double. Patties. Right. All right. That's a McDouble. Probably. I don't know. This, I don't think it has. A That's McDouble. a posh McDouble. It's a. It's a rip off double double. Yeah. There you go. We got the animal sauce. Got the spillage going on. There you go. A little spillage on that. What's the mess? meter is on a 4.5 out of 5. Right, there it is. <laughs> that's, a, that's a 4 out of 5. We don't do it by halves. All right, you got to have a bite of it now. Mm. The bun. And then the toastiness of the bun. Yeah. It's got a, it's, a, it's an in and out family of flavors. All right. Maybe that's the way, best way to put it. Got a good sauce on it. I would say it's slightly better, but it's also three times the cost. Right. <laughs> so you got to have another bite before we get a rating. Oh, and I'm up after this. Yeah, I'd say it's, it's I'd say it's worth the money if you would want to put down fifteen on a burger. Okay. Depends on your budget. Side of five, what would you say? I'd say four point three five. Alright, we're gonna win four out of five. All these decimals over here. Why people doing decimals? What the hell's wrong with you guys? He's a math guy. So He's yeah. a math guy, so yeah, he's all about the decimals. Alright, well I'm gonna go get my burger. It's not quite a four, but it's yeah. not in between three and four. Like, yeah. Three's kinda of harsh, but the four would be like, you know, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's Canadian, he's gonna be nice. So I would, so. But I would take the in and out at five bucks. Right. This Over this. But it's in it's it's a fair quality for the bucks in all cases. Nice. Well, I'm going to go get mine and see what it's like, so be right back for the $24 Posh Burger. Yep. All right, spinach and sharks, here we go. So I got the Wagyu Burger over here, so it's got the diced onions, it's got the Wagyu beef, nice little sauce over here. It's simple, it's very simple. Wasn't anticipating this, so we're going to have to have this. Going to get a good bite on it. It's not really seasoned in a special way. It's, it's like in and out. It's pretty. It, it's a little, that's a little disappointing. I was hoping like the sauce would have a little something going for it. When you taste it. Yeah. Mm. It's high quality. I guess good stuff, but I was hoping that it would have a little more flavor to it. You know, like the flavor really should pop on a good burger like this, you know what I mean? Well, that's mushroom, right? Or no. Wagyu beef. Oh, it's a beef. The wagyu is, yeah. You're paying for the meat. Yes. Then what is seasoning? Are you kidding me? It's about the meat. You want to be able to taste the wagyu. Well, Hank Hill would be disappointed because I'm just tasting the heat, not the meat. That's really disappointing. Wow. I'm a star, but I'm probably still going to eat it, but you know. I'd have the fries too. And how would you rate it on a scale of... Zero to zero to five. Is that minus? Honestly, I gotta give it a two. I mean, it's got it's got some good ingredients. They, they did the onions right. You know, the pickles aren't too bad on here. You know, they got the cheese. It, it's almost melted. It's almost melted on there. I don't know. You just taste them nothing. It's just such a shame. Like the sauce is all right, but they don't put enough of it. And you know the fries are, you know, they're bland, they're tasteless, and they're hardly seasoned at all. I'm really disappointed. Wow. And maybe I'm just being uh, a bit pessimistic, but 
Yeah, I guess I was expecting more. I don't know. So, yeah, two out of five. I can't say I recommend it. That's kind of why I went for the pastrami burger because the thing is, you can get you right. can get a bacon cheeseburger anywhere. It's going to taste like a bloody bacon cheeseburger. Right. I don't think I've ever seen a burger with pastrami meat on it. I'm pretty sure like they they do serve stuff like that in New York City, for example. Right. Maybe Chicago. We have a or, or two. Like I know in Montreal, I've seen I've seen a few places that'll serve that'll put you know pastrami on a burger. And yeah. Up there, they call it smoked meat. But yeah. Yeah, thank God for Dos Equis, I suppose. It was something to enjoy. <laughs> so I like Dos Equis, I don't know why. But uh, yeah, I was expecting something more flavorful, more uh, robust than this, but... Nothing. What a shame. All right there, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's food review and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Before I go, I just wanted to take a moment to shout out our patrons. Guys, it means the world to me that you choose to support me in this way and help keep Ace of Vegas independent of the YouTube algorithm. As you know, my content isn't always censor and advertiser friendly, so it goes a long way in keeping the channel running. If you want a more direct hand in keeping Ace of Vegas growing, I'll leave a link to the Patreon in the description box down below. In the meantime though, what do you guys think of Posh Burger? Do you think I was a little too harsh on the Posh? Or do you think that it's just a bit overrated? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas.